All right, so this is another iteration of my prototype. So this is uh, Act 2 out of my game Origin Unknown. So in the beginning here, um, kind of have a brief description of what happens within the first act. Um, so within the, this one, the, within this act, you will head towards the city of Argolis, um, where the famed archer Atalanta is rumored to live near. So if you hit the loading... So this is meant to work as a loading screen. So it kind of gives you a little bit of a, a hint and some advice. So it says, uh, a cyclops won't engage in battle unless provoked. They are rather docile creatures. And the other question that's in there is, does violence solve everything? And I provided hints here and there to kind of help drive the game along. Um, this artwork is mine. I created it. Um, so within here, uh, we have a, just a brief conversation. Uh, so you're posed with uh, two options right off the bat. You can go to Argolis or you can find Atalanta. So if you actually select go to Argolis, um, you're posed with two extra options. So you can either go ahead and fight the Hydra or you can flee the city. Um, my recommendation is to flee the city and to go and find Atalanta first. So now we're on the outskirts. Um, and uh, Atalanta discovers you there. She'll say, who are you and why are you here? And you can answer her. Um, so there are two options for, this, for these. Only one works. Um, so if you say we are seeking others to join a quest, she answers, obviously, in a kind of standoffish way. Why would I want to join you? Um, so flattery is always the best option, isn't it? So, we heard you are a master archer. And evidently, flattery works. <laughs> um, so, briefly describe to Atalanta what you're doing, how you need to go and defeat the giants and save Mount Olympus. Um, this one is not my artwork. I am currently trying to, uh, I am currently designing artwork. As of now, these are just kind of stand-ins for the brief period of time. Um, so this is Atalanta. So from here, we're actually posed with three options. So we can either go to the cave, where the Bow of Apollo is, we can go to Argolis, or we can question her. So in this case, I want to ask a question. So here, just kind of a brief conversation. Um, then uh, I'm going to select go to the cave, because I want to go, you know, find the Bow of Apollo. Again, this one is not my artwork. I am currently working on other ones. Uh, this is just a stand-in. So from here, you can enter the cave. So right off the bat, we're told that there's a cyclops that lives within the cave. Now, if you remember on the loading screen, it said that cyclops are actually docile creatures. So naturally, there's two different options that you can do within here. So you can go left and you can go right. To the left, it's dark with no sound coming from it. To the right, there, it's slightly illuminated and noises can be heard from within, so we'll go left. As you go left, you're faced with a dead end. You begin to turn around when you notice something in the corner. Um, that should not be on there. <laughs> that one is evidently an empty path. Um, so if you go right, you notice that it's illuminated by torches. Um, so then you, you grab a torch. Ah, I see what happened. That one text should be over within this next one. So you grab a torch, you walk forward within, and you notice uh, you hear a voice within the distance. And you notice that the Cyclops is actually sleeping, so he's sleep talking. So you decide to go forward, and you decide to kind of creep past the giant. You don't want to wake him up. Um, you find a chest in the back of the cave, so you use the torch to relight the fire. Um, and the giant sighs in content, because he was starting to stir because the fire got blown out. So you go towards the chest, um, and there's a slight glow, and you pull out the Bow of Apollo. This is an actual bow that was used um, within ancient Greece around the time period. Um, so now that you have Apollo's bow, you exit the cave. Um, so from here, you can actually... Uh, so it says you avoided conflict with the Cyclops. And you decide to go to Argolis. So here, this one is my artwork. I did that. So, uh, 
from here, you can you have two options again. You can flee the city, although we already did that, and we already have the bow of Apollo, so we're going to go ahead and fight the Hydra. This is not my artwork. Again, this is a stand uh, stand in. Um, so from here, uh, combat begins. So we're going to go ahead and enter combat. So we're going to go ahead and fire arrows. Didn't really do anything. Um, all you're really doing is distracting the heads. So now we go ahead and we decide to roll left. You roll left to avoid an attack and you notice that two of its heads are tangled together. Here you go ahead and, and state that uh, the heads need to get tangled so the way you can progress. So you call out to Orthrus. And Orthrus begins to go ahead and tangle up the heads. So from there, the heroes work together to go ahead and do it. And soon the Hydra is defeated as Orthrus used his flames to go ahead and seal off the wounds where the Hydra's heads were chopped off to prevent them from resurfacing. So then you inspect the head. And you realize it really can't be killed, but the best thing you can do is to go ahead and put a giant boulder on it. So you go and take it into, um, into a mountain pass that's pretty abandoned, throw a boulder on top of it, and it prevents it from escaping. Uh, so from here, if you hadn't gone to the cave, if you, if, if you went to Argolis first before going to the cave, you can go to the cave, and you can progress through there. So it's kind of a... With the focus being on virtue ethics, there's numerous um, options that are posed within it that you can choose from. That's the driving force. My game is centered around having various options for each player. Um, and it de completely depends on what they want to do within the game and how they progress. But yeah, so this is the, the second iteration of my prototype.